how are we on the cute count? Ryan, if you're watching. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica, if you're new here, or Veronika Mitka, which is Veronica with the K, it's because I'm German. And I'm a part-time reseller. I sell primarily women's pre-owned clothing on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. And I have a full-time job, I have a small child, and I have a YouTube channel. So when I do have time to go sourcing, I really love going to thrift stores and the Goodwill bins, among other places. But I'm also a sucker for a good rescue slash mystery slash whatever box of clothing and we got one of those today i don't know if it's going to be good or not but we got one uh, it did get a little bit banged up here in case you can't tell i not have to show you my address but it is a goodwill blue box it is the i really should know what they're called um it's the apparel box that costs 30 bucks <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just mixed apparel. I think that's what they call it now. It's $30 plus tax and shipping. When I order thread up boxes, I don't have to pay tax, but with these for some reason I do. So it's a little bit of a bummer. So after tax and shipping, I actually paid $37 and 31 cents, something along those lines. And they promised that there should be 10 to 12 pieces in there. In my experience with these boxes, usually I get more. I usually get 12 to 14, I don't wanna jinx it. And I think they always ship from Florida now. Yep, Lake Worth, Florida. I know they sell like bales of clothing if you're local. So I don't know if anyone has tried that out, but I'd be curious about that. If I order from Goodwill Blue Box, then I usually order either this box or the Thrifty Apparel Box. It used to be the 10 for 10 and you were supposed to get 10 pieces for 10 bucks. They changed it to Thrifty Apparel Box and now it's 15 bucks plus shipping. And this time I actually bought them on a Wednesday. Usually they come out on Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern on the dot and they sell out super fast. Although I feel like they're either supplying more boxes or the hype has died down a little bit because I've been able to get boxes like well after six o'clock lately whenever I do try and get them, which is not all the time. So they send you these text messages to kind of create a sense of urgency and they send me a text on a Wednesday. It's like midweek restock, yay. And I checked to see what boxes were available and, you know, the more interesting ones that are also a little bit more expensive, like the vintage and Y2K and all of that, they were all sold out already. And I also didn't want to spend that much money, honestly. So this one, I'm okay spending the 37 and some change. If I get one or two really good items, I make my money back and then everything else is profit. With the thrifty apparel box, I have very low expectations. I've been surprised before but I have low expectations. But also with that one, you're into it with like 20, 20 something dollars after tax and shipping, which is still okay. But um, the average cost of goods for this box depends on how many pieces you get, but it's around, I guess, $3 max which is more than a thread up box the 25 piece thread up box anyway which is the one i prefer to buy but it's also not as big of an investment and i feel like with two pieces or so i can get my money back and if there's just a lot of crap in there I've lost a little bit less money than if I were to buy a thread up box. But either way, I personally prefer thread up boxes. I haven't ordered one in a while since I unboxed my 50 pound uh, thread up box. I will link that up here if you're interested. I'm still listing items from that box, I think. Everything is photographed, but I'm still listing them. So yeah, it's not like I'm hurting for inventory right now. I've actually been able to thrift recently and I put out thrift hauls. I can link a whole playlist of thrift hauls um, up there somewhere and also in the description down below. But Enough talking, let's get this box opened. Okay, these usually get delivered by FedEx and FedEx delivered this on a Sunday, the Sunday before Memorial Day. So I, with FedEx, I'm always like, eh, you always promise me a day and then you don't stick to it. This time they did and I'm very happy because I actually have time to film because I'm off tomorrow from work and so I might actually be able to edit it and send out a midweek video for once. Let's not get too carried away and excited, but let's hope so. Okay, so it's just called the apparel box, 10 to 12 pieces, um, $29.99 plus $5 shipping plus $2.32 in handling. So yeah, that's $37.31. We will find out how many pieces I actually got. Let's dig in. Um, let me actually show you what it looks like right now. Oh, I see glittery things already, prints and glitter. So we'll see if that's any good. I will say I've gotten some really good pieces in these boxes. Um, I once got a, not too long ago actually, I got a new attack Baltic Born dress and they make like very flowy, beautiful, make you feel like a princess, frolicking in a meadow type of dresses that are maternity friendly and pregnancy friendly and all kinds of things. And they're really nice for like, 
don't know, engagement photos, any kinds of photos. So that sold really fast. Um, so if I can get something like that again, that would be awesome. So let's start with this red number here. Oh God, already not excited, but whatever. Uh, it's a Liz Claiborne Petite Large. Uh, just a regular little career top. It does have these cords here. It's not a drawstring, but it has a little bit of an accent, I guess. It's a petite large, so I'm not excited for that. Uh, but it's also not horribly ugly. Um, I'm just now realizing that I'm essentially sitting in the dark and this is my only light source right here. So <laughs> I may not be able to tell what patterns are and patterns, if there are any flaws. Oh, this also smells very perfumey. It's not horrible. I might actually list this. I've sold Liz Claiborne from these boxes before and I will just sell for like 10 bucks and after fees and such, I get like six or seven, but I still make a little profit. So I might list it depending on how bad the rest of the box is or how good. Okay, we have Active USA, which is not a great brand, but these are kind of cute shorts, size large and just like olive green little short shorts. I might list these just because they look to be in good shape. Oh, are they new with tags? They're new with tags. Okay, so yeah, I'm listing these. Um, this does not retail for much. They're very stretchy. They also look like more of a junior's large, if you're going to ask me, but I will probably just list them good pair of little shorts or I will throw them in a box that I'm sending to ThreadUp but these are not going to make me any money if I send them to ThreadUp um if, if they even list them I would probably look at a payout of a few cents so I might just list these because they're easy to photograph and list we'll see and it's summer so people need shorts god my hair's already getting on my nerves today okay this shiny number I think this is new with text with flaws but I could be wrong it's a kind of like a turtlenecky whatever mock neck what are you Oh, it's Guess, which is not super great, but new tag Guess is not horrible either. This retails for 60 bucks, sold at Macy's. I get a lot of Macy's brands and things. Blushing Rose Multi Hadria Lurex Quartz Sweater. Okay. All right, let's see how we can hold you up. Since I have a style name, I might be able to actually find a picture. It seems to have something going on in the back. I don't know if it's a stain or if it's just the way it's I don't know it manufactured I don't know it's it almost seems like a flaw but I can't tell in this light but um if it's not too bad if it looks decent on my mannequin etc I will probably list that and I have no problem selling guess I don't really gravitate towards it but I've sold it before okay this looks oh nice uh men's shirt Robert Graham and it is a big one it's a size 44 which is like a men's big and tall, I would say. Now, Robert Graham usually has some interesting stuff going on at the cuffs when you fold them over. This one does not. It is very, very plain, very simple. And honestly, I feel like it has some wear and discoloration at the neck. I can't really tell in this light. I could be wrong. I will have to look this over really closely, but it's a good quality shirt. And even though it's not as exciting as Robert Graham usually is, usually there's like some floral, like patchwork situation going on. Um, it's a solid shirt. So if they're not any major, if there aren't any major flaws, I will probably list it. I'm trying to find a care tag because it does feel nice. It almost feels like it's a, like kind of like a tech fabric. I don't know. I have to look this up and do some research. It just says made in China. Did I even show you the tag? I don't think I did. Oh boy, Veronica. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll see if I can find a fabric tag somewhere. How many pieces do we have? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I have more than 12 in here, but we'll see. Oh. Did I mention I got um, Missoni in one of these boxes? Just saying. Okay, this is Macbeth collection by Margaret Josephs. I've seen this in the thrift before. And this was marked down from 54 to 44 to 19 something, or oh, to 30 to 19. It's a Lurex tunic, but it's new with tags. So I'm just gonna take this number off. So let's see what you are. Okay, this is kind of cute. I can see this being like a cover up, like almost resort wear for the summer. Why not? I mean, it has like tassels. This I can probably sell, probably not for much, but I can sell this and it's new with tags, which is always nice. It is a size small. I would say this could fit to up to a medium, depending on how loose fitting you like your clothing. So we're at five, I believe. This looks like sleepwear or another Robert Graham shirt. Let's find out. Oh, okay. I think this is good. I'm not sure, but I think it's good, but I already like the name. Psycho Bunny, we like that. Um, I think this is a good brand, but I'm not sure. I have to do research and either put like a voiceover in or something, 
but it's a pretty large shirt. What size are you? Extra, extra large. Should have looked. In this light blue with the pattern, which I always forget the name of this pattern. I don't know. You let me know in the comments. It's short sleeved. I don't know if it's a men's or a women's, to be honest. I think it's a women's, but I'm not sure. Um, there is something going on with the buttons, but that might just be what this brand does. The bottom button has a uh, pink yarn and the rest of them just normal white or ivory. But because those are the colors that are also in their logo, that might just be what they do. I don't know. Kind of like Spanx jeans have that little red um, piece of hardware. I always, I never remember what it's called. It's not a grommet, but it's not a button either. But on the back pocket, Spanx always have one that's red. So maybe that's their thing. Psycho Bunny, made in Peru. Psycho Bunny by Robert Godley. I'm gonna say this is something good or at least decent. If it's not, it's at least fun to list <laughs> based on the name. Style is also. Okay, we have something scalloped, Novatex Gap. Uh, doesn't have a price, but okay. Size four Gap dress. This burnt orange dress. Oh, it's cute. It's fit and flare. Scalloped sleeves, short sleeves. Oh, it has pockets. It has pockets, y'all. Okay, I can sell a dress with pockets. I don't know for how much, but I can sell her. So this is very cute. I mean, I'm not a fan of the orange, but it's cute. <sighs> how are we on the cute count? Ryan, if you're watching, I need to count also my pieces. It's five, four, six, seven. Okay, we're on seven. Yeah, maybe 11 or 12 in there. Okay, this feels vintage-y. Okay, and I'm gonna say this vintage. Ooh, okay. Vintage in retail height. It's a wool dress by Episode, made in Hong Kong, size US 4. This is the whole tag situation in this number. Zipper has a little bit of velvet, and it has a vintage price tag for $160. Interesting. It's just a little black dress, a little black vintage dress, vintage size 4, which I'm gonna say looks pretty close to a modern size 4. Yeah, maybe more of a modern size 2, I don't know. But Huh, the more you know. I can show you the tag too, the uh, price tag. $160. Is this visible? I don't even know. So yeah, interesting. So that's number eight. Number nine. Ooh, Columbia, okay. Columbia men's medium sweater in olive green. Okay, has a little bit of an accent up here, like a mixed knit sort of situation. I mean, if it doesn't sell for me in the fall, I can probably send this to the real real if they still accept Columbia. However, they just changed the whole payout system to where I think they pay you 20% of what the item sells for if it's under 50 bucks. And most of my items that I would send would be under 50 bucks. So I'm like, oh, not sure I want to mess around with that anymore. The real real. Uh, this is 100% cotton, Columbia. You probably know the Columbia tag. Uh, it also has like this little tag, the little Columbia symbol in the back. It's, I mean, it's cute. It's not cute. It's a men's sweater, but it, it's a nice, decent sweater. Okay, I think we're at 10 now, if I count it correctly. This is Loft, the Marissa pant cropped size 6 petite. I'm not gonna lie, probably gonna send that to thread up. Not sure yet. It's like a ivory color, so I'm sure it has some flaw somewhere. I've sold this pen before, I'm not gonna lie. When I first started reselling, it doesn't sell for much. Um, it doesn't sell fast, so I, I don't do well with career wear. I'm not Becky Park. She can do that. I can't. Anyway, um, if I count it right, we're gonna be at 12. So this is number 11, and then there's one more thing. Another new with tags. I do like that. This, uh, the Goodwill Blue Box, a lot of times I get new with tag items. They're not the most exciting ones. But they know with tag, so that's nice. Um, they do have flaws sometimes, though, I will say that. So this is a New York and Company, which you can probably not see, but this one might be easier. It's the 7th Avenue line. So it's small, that's a bummer. Um, because I really like this brand. It retails for 40 bucks. And it's just a little blouse. I can't tell if it's gray or green. Green, green, green A, green, greenish gray, greenish gray, I don't know. Um, little blouse, chiffon blouse, Korea top. I'll probably list that. I've sold these before when I would get them in these boxes. Okay, we got another Psycho Bunny, so I really hope this is a good brand. Okay, this one says established 2005, so I'm confused, but anyway. Um, this is a Psycho Bunny men's shirt. 
Okay, if this is not worth anything, I will totally keep that. <laughs> How cool is that? Honestly, I like this bread, even if it's not worth anything, but I feel like it is. Uh, and this is Pima cotton, 100% Pima cotton, size eight. So that's interesting. I feel like a men's size would not be a size eight. That would be like a medium. So usually number sizing is women's, but this does not strike me as a women's size eight, but maybe it's supposed to be like oversized. I have no idea. I will do some research. It does have a little pocket here. Um, I'll do some research. This seems to be in really good condition too. So we shall see. Um, this actually looks like it's about the same size as the other one that is a size, what was it? Extra, extra large, but that's all she wrote. That's the box. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, where's my phone? I'm gonna look up the Psycho Bunny right now. Look at this sold on it. Whoa. No, -uh. not in a million years. Oh, this is a bundle of multiple. Okay, I was about to say, somebody had this for like, sold for, I don't know if you can see that, $210, but it's one, two, three, four shirts, which is still good. I cannot tell what it says. It says small four, medium five large one. So, okay, maybe this was like a wholesale thing. I don't know. Anyway, their tops otherwise go for about 18 to 25. Their Nubitax pajama pants go for more. 30 bucks, 19, 21. Okay, but either way, if I pay like three bucks for that or less, actually, maybe, no, three bucks and it sells for 20, that's still good. That That's a good return on my investment, honestly. Yeah, so it's not it's not as high as I thought it does or could do, but it might also be a platform thing. Maybe this sells better on eBay or um, Depop for all I know. But either way, I think it's cool and I will totally sell this. I'm not gonna check eBay and Macari. Not that you can check. Can you check souls on Macari? I don't really know. Anyway, I think I got 12 items. If I didn't, I will pop the correct number here. But I think if I didn't miscount, I got either 12 or 13 items. So that's good. That's an average cost of goods of about $3 and some change. So that's not bad. And I will list most of these. I think there's like one or two items that might go in the thread up box. But if there was nothing horrible in here. There were definitely pieces that did not have me very excited. I think the list Claiborne, I would probably just send her thread up because I don't want to deal with it. And the loft pants, I already forgot what what else I got in there? The vintage dress, I'm excited to research that. Uh, the Psycho Bunny pieces is okay. The Robert Graham is okay. Um, the Guess was good. Not super good, but good. The other with tag tunic and the Gap dress, I think I can definitely make a profit on this box. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how it performs for me. I'll try to get these listed soon. If you're interested in anything, please do message me on Instagram or leave me a comment down below and we can make, make that magic happen and I don't have to list it. But I will definitely film an update video on this box at some point in the future. I don't make promises anymore, like I'm checking in in three months because it usually doesn't happen. I have to film a few of those update videos, so let me know in the comments down below if you're actually interested in the update videos, and then I will just knock out a bunch because I just have to research how these boxes did for me because I don't list my inventory by box, which I should probably do for these videos, but I would have to go back and watch them. And then I can film an update video and just let you know how much money I made or not. I do have one thread up shoe box unboxing video that I want to film an update on. And I've been meaning to do that forever. And it was a really good one. So I might do that next. We'll see. I also have a vlog film that I need to find on one of my SD cards. So that might be coming up next. And I do have a collab in the works, which is kind of like an unboxing update, but with a twist and with other people. And so stay tuned for that. I don't know when it's coming out yet. I haven't figured out the details, but that's coming. So yeah, thank you so much for being here, friends. I appreciate you. I would also appreciate if you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. And tell your friends to subscribe if they're not already, if they're resellers, if they care at all about this type of content. I would love to have them here and I will see you very, very soon. Until then, bis bald. Tschüss.